Washington has won the Super 8 Massachusetts State Championship. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ken Kohlberg. I'm your sports broadcaster for Arlington Community Media, Inc. And I am honored today to have in the studio for an interview one of the most storied athletes in the history of Arlington sports, Arlington High School. Her name is Jordan Toomey. She is the daughter of Lynn Sullivan and William Toomey, the younger sister of Jamie J.T. Toomey. And she holds the distinction of being the only female ice hockey player in the history of the Arlington program to have played seven seasons as the varsity goaltender for the Arlington Spy Ponders. She is uh, an amazing athlete. She started uh, with the program as a seventh grader brought up to the varsity high school team because of her skills, because of her commitment, and because of who she is as a person. And we have her in the studio today. We're going to be asking her some questions about her career, about her current season, about her plans for the future. So let me introduce to you and have her say hello to the camera, Jordan Toomey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jordan. Now, Jordan, um, as I mentioned, you're the first female ice hockey player in, uh, in Arlington's history to have played six years for the program. And uh, could you just tell us a little bit about how that came to be, how it was that as a seventh grader, you um, took your place as the varsity keeper? Yeah, I was lucky enough that they allowed a waiver. They almost didn't allow a waiver just because I was so young. But um, the senior goaltender at the time, she um, got into a little trouble and got a five-game suspension. So they, didn't, they needed someone, and they couldn't just dress a player. And at the time, they were having to have eighth-grade waivers because the team was so small. So they said I could join, but you can't recruit, like you can't waiver up a kid for seventh grade. Um, you can't waiver for position. So it was just lucky enough that they didn't have enough players. So I was able to waiver up and Holly Russell and Emily Smith also got wavered up with me as eighth graders. Ah, ah, Emily Smith and Holly Russell. Uh, other big names in the Arlington program. So yeah, the rest is history, right? You've been there ever since. You've played yeah. all six years as mm -hmm. the starting goalie for the varsity team. And just tell us a little bit about like overall as that experience, what has that experience meant to you over the six year period? We'll break it down in a moment. Yeah, it's been great. Um, having the coaching staff like remain the same has been awesome because they've helped me develop so much since like seventh grade to senior year as a person and as a goaltender. They've um, been really great because they know my strength, like my strengths and weaknesses and they've helped me a lot um, over the seasons. And you've had Jeff Mead as your head coach the whole yes. time, is that correct? Yes. How He's... long has Jeff been the, at the helm? Do you know? Oh, forever. I don't even know. Um, at least 10 years now, I, I would have to say. It's been like forever. Well, you've <laughs> had a great streak with Coach Mead. And, yeah. and it, as we're going to mention, it's, it culminated this year in your first Middlesex League championship. Is that not correct? Yep. That's crazy. Very, very exciting. Why don't you tell us, if you could, just sort of in your own words, I mean, what have been the secrets of your success, you personally, in um, continuing to play for six years and playing at the level that you've played? Um, yeah, Jeff speaks highly about not just being an on-season athlete, also playing off-season. So I've done summer camps and fall camps, and Jeff helped me get in touch with Bob Rotundo, who is the owner of the Shamrocks, and he's been my goalie coach ever since, and he's really helped me develop as a, um, a goalie. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the current season. I know you've had a long tenure, but this season has been a little bit special, I take it. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about, in your view, what have been the high points of this season in particular? Um, I think our highest point was actually the first game where we came out and we beat Wellesley, who was the Division II um, champs, and we weren't, everyone was expecting us to get blown out and we weren't supposed to win. So coming in and winning, it just really brought a mindset that we can beat any team as long as we put our mind to it. So it was a great start. Right, I remember that game. I had the fortune of uh, the good fortune of broadcasting that game, and you were the big underdogs. Wellesley, I think at the time, was ranked in the top yeah. five in the in the in the uh, in the state, and you guys weren't even ranked at the time. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And it was a four-one game or something like yeah. that. It's a big game. Um, okay, and in terms of this current season, again, let's stick with that and ask you ask you, have there been some struggles this season? You've lost only a couple of games. Is that right? Yeah, we. Um, I'd say our struggles were the Reading game. We just didn't come to play, and Reading came right at us. And we took a, our only loss in the middle sex, and we lost hard. But we came right back, and when we played them in their home barn, we tied it up 0-0, which was 
we were neck and neck with them all like through the Middlesex standings. So for us to tie them, it was like a great um, accomplishment for us. And I remember also the the Villarica Chelmsford game. You guys oh, were a little bit, rough. yeah, with well, those young guys, those those freshmen. Yeah. yeah, they came out hard. They have a good group coming up too, and they're going to be great in their coming season. They came really hard at us, and we just weren't ready, and we need we needed to be more on our game, and we just weren't there. That right. Game. Couple lessons I remember learning before that game that they had a, mostly a freshman team and that they were struggling, but that they but that they they hustled. Yeah. They really, they just gave it their all. They won those little one-on-one -on -one battles that mean everything, and they took it to us. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any, is there anything that occurred during this season that you're sort of most proud of? Um, I'd say I mean, I'm most proud of just winning the whole thing because... The Middlesex League. The Middlesex League, because right. we haven't won since 2009 when it was the Greater Boston League, so it was just really impressive that we pulled it out, and we were neck and neck with Reading the whole time, so every point counted, and we made it count. Right. And on that subject of freshmen, you guys, uh, I understand this season, had a breakout season from one of, uh, one of your freshmen in particular. I know they all contributed, but that Gabby Russo had quite a season. Oh, there. yeah. What's She's Gabby really, like? Gabby's awesome. She also played varsity field hockey with me. So for these two seasons, we really like bonded. And she's a great person on and off the ice. And she just always wants to help the team develop. She's not the girl that's just going to look for to score goals. She's going to get that assist. She's going to get that pass. So she's just a great person on and off the ice. Yeah, and she's got that encouragement from that dad there, Marky Russo. You know oh, Marky? Yes, I love Mark. Oh, yeah, you got to love Marky. <laughs> All right, well, tell us then. Now, you're a captain this year, a senior captain. And uh, could you just describe for us a little bit about what your leadership style is as a captain? Mm -hmm. I think my leadership style is both being hard when we have to be hard. Say if we're like losing a game, we need to be hard on each other. But also being the person that someone can come to if they're having a bad game or having a bad day. Like you need to be approachable as a captain, but you also need to like make sure everyone's focused during games. Okay. And you have some co-captains this year. Who are your co-captains? Elizabeth Liakos, Erin O'Brien, Emily Benoit, and Molly Flynn. Oh, Arlington royalty. So it's a nice squad. Now, do you work together as captains and yeah. sort of delegate the duties? Can Definitely. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, well, Kathy Flynn and Molly Flynn have done a great job sending out emails. And um, let's go. Um, the O'Briens have done a great job getting in contact with ACMI so we can have um, just some film and we've had some good film sessions um, to like talk with the coach and like get filming. Excellent. <laughs> um, yeah. Excellent. And the O'Brien and uh, and Erin uh, O'Brien is a senior as well with you, and she's obviously, mm -hmm. of course, the daughter of the proud father, Neil O'Brien. And uh, Neil's been helpful with us as my color commentator this year, so it's been good to have uh, have uh, Neely in the studio with us. All right, now let's get to it. The playoffs, 2019, <laughs> it's coming yeah. up. You've got one more game this afternoon. I think it's at 6 o'clock at Hingham, and that mm -hmm. ends the regular season. Yeah. So the question to you would be, if you could tell us for you specifically, what you are doing as the goalkeeper to prepare both mentally and physically for this year's uh, state playoffs. Yeah, just um, going hard every single practice and every single game, just making sure... I'm ready like mentally and physically and just making sure also the team's ready at the same time but um, just trying not to get those like nervous playoff jitters just pretending it's just a regular game and just going out there and doing our best. Excellent, excellent. Now I mentioned in my introductory remarks that you are indeed the younger sister of Jamie J.T. Toomey and what would be an interview of Jordan Toomey or any <laughs> Toomey without uh, mentioning J.T.? I did, as you know, I had the privilege of coaching JT at, uh, when she was a youngster in the youth program, both in uh, lacrosse and, uh, and soccer. And mm -hmm. Jamie was, as you know, an outstanding athlete in, yeah. a, in and of her own right and still is. So what was it like to grow up in sort of the shadow of such a yeah. special person like Jamie to me? It was good. We had like... How many years are you younger than her? I'm one. Well, you're, you're only one year younger yeah. than her? Okay. So we had... Um, we had just like a little rivalry going because she's so athletic and she was so good that I always was trying to beat her and like come up and like we played softball and soccer so I was always trying to like learn from her and try to be better than her and just like the sister rivalry you know just trying to be better than the other. Right. Yeah, you gotta love JT. Now JT had the tonsils out this winter and I heard yeah. that was a little bit of a bumpy ride. Oh, Can you yeah, tell us a little bit bad. about that? 
she also got bronchitis unfortunately at the same time so she had a rough little thing but it was kind of good because she couldn't talk that much yeah. so <laughs> got the last word in <laughs> well that must have been difficult in the uh, Toomey Sullivan household yeah. all right um, Jordan just tell us a little bit. So your plans for next year. You're a six-year varsity goalie. We've watched you play many times over the years. You're, mm -hmm. you're uh, Jordan the Cat. Yeah. And what are your plans for next year? Are you going to keep playing some hockey? Yeah, definitely going to play hockey. I'm just choosing between like three schools right now, but definitely continuing my hockey career. All right. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you. Uh, I want to uh, conclude by wishing you good luck in the playoffs. I also want to conclude by thanking you for taking your time. We know you have a game this afternoon. The bus is heading out to play the uh, Hingham Harbor women tonight at 4 o'clock. They're always tough. Yeah. The playoffs are coming up. I'm sure Coach Mead and ha uh, has all you guys ready, but uh, I'm sure you're a little bit on edge. So I want to thank you on behalf of Arlington Community Media, Inc. We want to thank Jordan Toomey for coming into the studio today, taking her time to speak with us, and um, we wish you the best of luck, not only in the playoffs, but in your future career as a goaltender. Thank you very much, Jordan. Thank you for having me.